The Cisco AnyConnect Secure Mobility Client constantly raises the bar by making the remote access experience easy for everyone. It helps enable a highly secure connectivity experience across your PC and mobile devices. Keep in mind that AnyConnect is still in development, and there are certain caveats to remember before enabling AnyConnect. Having reviewed the caveats, you have the ability to enable AnyConnect on your Meraki dashboard. First, we will need to upgrade to the latest MX16 firmware by navigating to Organization and Firmware Upgrades. Note that you will need to enable beta firmware under the Network-Wide Monitor General page before you will be able to schedule the MX16.x firmware upgrade. Once you have successfully upgraded your MX firmware version, you are ready to enable AnyConnect VPN. Go to Security Appliance, Configure, Client VPN, AnyConnect Settings, and select Enable from the AnyConnect Client VPN radio button. You should review the configuration defaults to ensure that these match your desired specifications. You may prefer to leave some of these settings at their defaults, but you will especially want to review the Authentication and Access section. The built-in Meraki Cloud Authentication is the easiest authentication option to configure, which allows you to configure VPN users natively from this page. You will need to enter a desired AnyConnect VPN subnet, which is not already in use on your network. Please note that this will need to be entered in CIDR format. We recommend using the Umbrella DNS Name Servers option, but you may also change this to the Specify Name Servers option if you prefer to use other name servers, such as a local DNS server. The Client Routing section allows you to choose whether you would like to send all client traffic over to the AnyConnect VPN or only specific destinations. Once you have finished configuring these options, make sure to save your changes by clicking Save at the bottom of the screen. You can use the operating system specific AnyConnect client download links to install the AnyConnect client software. Please note that once MX16 firmware has completed the beta process, you will need to purchase AnyConnect licensing to continue using this feature.